Let's take a look at our first objective to determine if a relation is a function. When you hear the word relation, I hope you think of two things being related to one another, like two people or two quantities, um, and that's really what it is mathematically. When we talk about a relation, we say that it's really simply a correspondence between two quantities. Here's an example. A student's tuition is related to the number of credit hours taken each semester. And so you can think of a correspondence there, and the way we typically relate that correspondence mathematically is through ordered pairs. So we might have the credit hours and that is related to tuition. So really a more general way to describe a relation is that it simply is a set of ordered pairs. Now, <clears throat> relations are really nothing special, just like I said, set of ordered pairs. But then we talk about something called a function, and a function is a special type of relation. A function is a relation in which each element, x, of the first set A corresponds to exactly one element, y, of the second set, B. In the previous example I had talked about, credit hours is our set A, so credit hours could be what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever those numbers are, and then tuition is that dollar amount, that would be that second set B. The set A is our input values or x values, it's called the domain, and the set B, which is our output values or y values, is called the range. So some more examples of functions would be something like this. The relationship between a person and their social security number is a function, right? Because if our input is person and output is social security number, person has only one social security number. So that is a function because for every input, there's exactly one output. The equation y equals 2x plus 3 is also a function because for every input of x, we only get one value of y. Now, what about the equation x equals 5? If you recall, x equals 5 is the equation of a vertical line, and on that vertical line lie the points whose x value is 5, so something like 5, 0, 5, 1, 5, 2, so we see that the only input we have into that function, or I shouldn't say function, the only input into that relation is x, but there are many output values, so that one is not a function. So if you remember from college algebra, functions may be represented in four ways. We can represent them in a table, which is numerically or algebraically as an equation. We can also represent them graphically or verbally, and you might recall that you can determine whether or not a graph is a function by using the vertical line test. If every vertical line goes through at most one point on the graph, then you have a function. So like for instance, if I have a parabola every vertical line that I could draw touches only one point, so that would be a function. Whereas if I have a circle, I could draw a vertical line that would hit two points, so that is not a function, because that would be a value of x that has more than one output. 
So if you have any questions about how to determine whether or not a relation is a function, um, please contact me.